give you life. Peace to the God. Is it nine Melly Mel? Is it nine Melly Mel 13? Peace to the God. Peace to everybody. Wow. I just wanted to remind myself to be thankful for the abundance that surrounds me daily. You dig? These beautiful coconuts. You know what I mean, how can we how can we walk by such beauty daily and forget? Forget the things that surround us. So beautiful. Life, life, life is beautiful, yo. Shout out to all the gods. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. You know, this coconut tree just made me realize how much abundance truly surrounds us on a daily basis. Do we stop? Do we look? Do we give thank you? to Mama Earth? Do we give thank you to Gaia? Do we pay reverence to Netta, to nature, which is what we are? Do we forget to do these things? I know I do, so I gotta stop myself in my tracks. I gotta give, I gotta give the universe the acknowledgement that it deserves for the beauty, for the uh, absolute abundance, and for the majesticness that is in the nature that surrounds us all. I can never forget that. Yo, let the sun kiss your skin. Please let the sun kiss your skin. You see, the sun is something that they really try to GMO, but they can never. That's the difference, see? That's where we, that's where they can't fuck with the mind. That infinite intelligence. They trying to, de yeah, they definitely trying to GMO the sun. But the sun is still that, the purest form of light you can never receive. The sun is that form of nature that has not been tampered with. For those primitive chemicals cannot harm us. No, no, no. Do not live here. Let them spray. Let them put uh, uh, fake food. Let them, pay, let them play with your senses. You need to become a master of your senses. You need to become a master of your mind. A master of your own thoughts. Let them do what they do. You do you. You be you. You be you how you be you. You be God. You dig what I'm saying? Don't fear nothing. They can never touch that sun. They could try to block it. They could try to disconnect you from it, but they can't do nothing to it. They can't even reach it. They arms too short to box with God. They arms is too short to box with God. You dig what I'm saying? So let that sun touch your skin. Let that sun kiss you. That's the purest form of light you're going to ever receive. Purer than any divine information. Listen. All information came from genetics, from DNA. You heard? All that information you already have. You heard? Don't be fooled. You already got everything you need. It's within you right now. It's within your genetics. When you tap back into that sun, you go... You Cut the middleman out. You go directly to the source and tap into that communication. There's nobody genetically modifying your connection to that, to that infinite intelligence. You're able to emit and receive that frequency effectively. Don't be afraid. Let them spray. Let them try to block you from what you are. How 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 they got you buying water when you are water? How they got you paying to be alive to live when life itself is a gift they didn't give you life how they gonna try to control your life or take it from you Saco Torre. Saco Torre. i'm about i'm about tapping back into that element anything that takes life anything that disconnects life from life that's non-cypher i'm against that i'm a peaceful warrior but i'm against anything that tampers with and and, 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 and anything that disconnects us truly from what we are. This is why we must let that sun touch our skin. We are the sun. We are the children of the sun. So when we connect back to it, we connect them back to our mama. We connect them back to where we stem from. Everything you need is already within you. 
When you connect back to what you are, you are able to unlock. You are able to discover this information. This is why we call it sun codes. Because you just have to decipher the information. The codes already lie within you. They're deep, deeply planted in your genetics. And those are the core, those are the codes that tell you what you should be doing and how you should be doing it. Those emotions, those feelings, those urges that you feel, you begin to understand where they come from and where to direct them and guide them to. You begin to understand that you don't, you don't necessarily have to be under subjugation. You don't have to give into a system you don't agree with. This is what you've been taught. This is what have you been presented as normality. This is not what is normal. This is what you have been told is normal. Me as well, me included. You is me, I and I, I am you. This is what we have been taught has been normal. There's, all, there's other ways to live. And if you're not uh, motivated in that direction, if you're not business savvy in that sense where you want to be an entrepreneur, there's still other ways. Spirituality does not necessarily have to uh, go hand in hand with poverty. That's the trick. That's the trick. Oh yeah, you spiritual. You don't need money. That's bullshit. Money is a motherfucking game. It's a system. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a way to get from point A to point B. It's a way to be able to handle your your handle. Take care of your business. Do what you got to do for you. Take care of you and yours. So they put money in the place of it. You didn't create money. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. Ain't that some shit. But use it to your advantage. Use it to help you. Use it in a way that's going to help your life become what you need it to be. But don't be afraid of it. Now, what spirituality looks like to me... Is a lot of discipline, a lot of humbleness, a lot of tapping back into nature. That's spirituality to me. It's not about any religious doctrines. I'm not trying to control you or make you something that you aren't. I'm just trying to show you that the world we live in, if we allow it to, will completely disconnect us and make us think that we're something we're truly not and program us into having a mental paradigm that does nothing but sustain our destruction, our devastation. And it, and it, it just does not help or allow us to truly manifest from a place of abundance, from a place of already having. You see? But when you're able to connect back to the source and peace be still and receive these codes from the sun, these codes that tell you you are a child of me. That tell you you are already uh, complete and perfect. You don't. Th there is nothing you lack. And everything you need is already there with you. All you have to do is align yourself with it. See, that is what the sun begins to communicate to you. Through you. With you. But if you're busy running around in this mental paradigm where you forget to connect back to it. If you're busy running around in this mental paradigm where you forget to even have reverence for it, to even acknowledge the very essence of it. Sometimes you see people in the daytime with sunglasses on. We all see that shit. Sunglasses on. It's like, damn, that subconsciously says a lot. It's like, oh man, it's too bright. Life is too bright. Life is too bright. My baby girl just began what you call life. She can't wait to open them eyes. It's so bright out. She be trying to squinch at the sun. And the sun is like, uh, the sun is looking at her like slow down grasshopper. She can't wait to open her eyes and just feel life all around her thriving. Always have her in nature. People be surprised too. They be like, oh, it's so old. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Like. Like, they never really seen a baby, like, out like that. Like, they usually have a baby all protected to the point where it's like, you think you think there's something wrong with them. Like, oh, we can't bring them out the house. Like, what? They want to be outside. They want to connect back to the ether. They understand that they come from that. They just want to be a part of the life itself. And then we come. We come as the true serpent, only to disconnect them from what they truly are. 
Only to teach them our ways. Only to make them into something that they truly aren't. Because that is what we were given. And we can only give what we have. This is why we must truly empty our cup. If you have a full cup, if you have a cup full of bullshit, that's all you can offer me. That's it. If you have a cup full of divine knowledge itself, if you have a cup full of uh, divine aspirations of wanting to truly prosper and connect with people that have, that have a like mind, then I am for you and you are for me, then we are for you. People don't get that shit. They see you out in nature. They're like, ¿Y este tigre? ¿Qué le pasa a este tigre? They don't get it. Guess what, though? It's not for you to make them get. No, that's not your job. That's not your job, bro. And as hard as it may seem, we all want to help people, right? But the people that we are here to help, number one, is us. Is you, God. When you look in the mirror, that is your greatest student. That is the greatest challenge you will ever face. That is the person that you must begin to master and conquer and study truly and understand. You dig? You must be the greatest student of that person that is staring back at you in the mirror. For that is your true self. You can feel it. You can feel it that you're greater than this vessel. I know you feel it because I feel it and we, we all won. Everyone who vibrates on the frequency of the Christ Understands that they're more than what they were told They can feel it They can feel it you don't even, They don't even have to know the truth They could already, they could already vibrate on its frequency Because they, it's already in them Before, they, before they're able to um, connect the dots And realize what it is that the, Realize what it is that completes them In terms of the information that they've been lacking And they, the aha moments when it comes from these, when it comes from these divine uh, frequencies, the chosen understand. The chosen need this. The chosen are this. They are the truth. look at the shit. They are the truth. They are the truth. When they hear the truth, it resonates with them because they are it. So don't let nobody disconnect you from what the hell you are. Why the hell would you do that? Why? Why the hell would you do that? Disconnect me from what I am. Where they do that at? Am I? But my battery is for y'all. You know what it is. Tapping back into that God frequency. That essence. See y'all in the room, man. Peace to all the gods and goddesses showing support, showing love to the family, yo. I'm grateful for y'all. You already know that. We all, we all want, we all need each other. You know what I'm saying? We all have similar wants, similar desires. We all have similar traumas, you know. We all see each other in ourselves. So I see a lot of me and y'all, yo. I see a lot of beautiful versions of myself. On y'all pages, man, and I love it. And I want y'all to keep spreading this message, yo. Because it's nobody's message. It's, this message belongs to those who spread it. And those who need to hear it. You know, that's it. Continue to speak the truth. Alright, this is going somewhere else, right? This was about, alright, I'm going to cap it off at that. This was about you connecting back to the source of what you are. So don't let nobody GMO your sunlight. Don't let nobody take that from you. And I'm saying connect back to the sun. Why? Because the sun is raw. The sun god, that is the purest form of light that is untampered with in this moment. So I'm telling you, connect back to that. Connect back to Ra. They GMO in your food. They GMO in your environment. They GMO in every goddamn thing. But that sun is hard for them to get to. They could try to put things in between you and the sun. But you are it and it is you. That is the purest form of light, so connect back to it. That is as pure as any divine information you're going to ever receive. So connect back to the source, which is the sun, nigga. We are children of the sun. 
and I could break that down. That's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna have to start doing PowerPoints and presentations on y'all niggas and presenting evidence so people could, could begin to do their own research as well. Because a lot of this information came from research, from realizing, oh shit, it is true. All you gotta do is Google some of this stuff and it's actually hidden in plain sight. Dig what I'm saying? So that's number one. I mean, that's, yeah, that's where we're gonna cap that out, that out, that off at. Boom. All right. Now, secondly, you see those people that knock on your door, that you close the door on, that's offering you like some religious text or something? You see those kind of people? That's me. That's who I am. But I'm not coming to your house. I'm on my page. You don't like me, unfollow me, and go fuck yourself. I'm on my page speaking the truth. So I might not knock on your door, but I'm going to open my page and speak the truth and offer you some divine information, whether you like it or not. That's why. No, I ain't no Jehovah's Witness. But I'm here to offer my truth. My truth is that we are the sun children. You know this shit. Read that text. Children of the sun. That is an easy read. Maybe 90 pages at max. That's an easy read. Our people don't like to read. We like instant gratification. You know what I'm saying? We don't got the time to sit down and read Nathan. But I urge you, read that book. And you're going to see, oh shit, I was written about before. Before all the history I was taught. I was written about. What the fuck is you talking about? I know what I am. So go read that. So I had to say this, right? Someone was... Someone offered me some type of advice. Like they got like they in a position to offer me advice. Like I asked them for advice. Anyway, they telling me that the way I articulate myself, I can do much better. That the way I come up, the way I get points across, I can do much better if I change my approach. The way I speak, if I if I uh if I dumb it down in this way, it'll 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 I guess impact a broader audience. Or it'll reach a different demographic of people. Or it'll come across in a certain light that'll be more palatable. But look at me. Take a real good look at me. Do you think I give a fuck about how this message comes across? Do you think I give a fuck about how you receive the truth as long as you receive it? Do you think I give a fuck about what it does to you? I don't. Just like the universe. Don't give a fuck about your emotions. The truth is the truth. I don't care. This is where who I am and where I'm from. This is how we speak. You know? That's, a, that's where I'm rooted from. That's who I am. You can't throw me under the rug. You can't sweep me under the rug. That's who I am. I'm them niggas. I'm rooted from them. From them niggas. That had those crates on the corners. Milk crate cartons. No cushion. No cushion. That's who I rooted from. That's who I am. I know who and what I am. I'm proud of that. I don't have to change my lingo. I don't have to articulate myself in a way that's more palatable for you to accept. Go find somebody who speaks the way you want to hear it. Go find somebody who talks the way you want to hear it. You dig? This is the frequency of love. Maybe you don't know what love is, so you don't like how I speak it. You don't like how it comes across. That's the only thing you can never deny. That's the truth. That's one thing you can never deny. As hard as you try, you can never deny the truth. And that's all I'm offering. It's the truth. Whether you like it or not. It ain't the like. I'm telling you, you God, and you don't like me because of that. You think I got a complex because I'm telling you, you God? I could show you better than I could tell you. I could show you better than I could tell you. But you still sitting where you at. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm not changing the way I talk. This is the way I communicate. This is how niggas speak where we from. Niggas understand niggas. I'm only talking to niggas, basically. If you, if I, you ain't a nigga, then probably go watch. I don't know who. Somebody that niggas ain't, niggas ain't watching. Niggas ain't listening to. But niggas vibrate here. Niggas know exactly where we come from and what this shit is. That's how we speak, yo. I don't have to have this uh, 
medical terminology to explain common sense to you. I don't have to speak like I graduated from Harvard. But, my, but the discipline that I have and when I do research and, and when I'm expressing the truth is more disciplined than a Harvard grad or a Yale grad. You heard? It's with that type of intensity. It's with that type of vigor that I want to live my life and share this truth. So don't tell me how to speak, yo. And unfollow me. If you don't like what I do, what I stand for, who we are, unfollow me. Only people that should be communicating and interacting with me is people that are like me. You either my family, you either my brother, you either my cousin. You so you either part of my family or you're not. So y'all can unfollow, y'all can unfollow what y'all don't like. Y'all don't have to keep up with me and see what drama goes on in my life. My life is drama free. I, tr I live in true abundance. So don't tell me how to speak and watch your mouth. So peace to the gods, peace to the earths. You have no choice, you are chosen.